Today, folks, is National Comb Day, 19th of March, uh, around the US anyway, um, which usually means that some outlets, such as uh, Ben & Jerry's and Dairy Queen, you get a free ice cream cone. But of course, due to the little bit of an outbreak that's going on right now, that seems to be squashed. But today, we are still going to sample some of the finest goods ever created. It is the Cotton Candy Dipped Cone. Let's go. Um, can I get three cotton candy dipped cones, please? Uh, two medium and one large. Two medium, one large. Anything else for you? That's everything. It's going to be 983 at the window, please. Thank you. Free cone day postponed. Free cone day postponed. All right, here's your first medium, sir. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> your second medium? Second medium. I have two hands this time. Large. Thank have you kindly. Day. Cheers. So here we are, folks, outside the Dairy Queen, and I've got my cotton candy dipped cone right here right now. Luna's in the car, the wife's in the car. She loves the cotton candy. That's why we're really here. But I thought I'd give you a sample of it uh, right here, right now. It's dribbling down the seas, the side there. Uh, so let's just tell you a little bit about the cone. Obviously, traditionally, uh, you get these. Uh, it is a, a wafer cone, just like a, a Mr. Whippy back in England. Inside, it is a vanilla ice cream, and then they dip it in chocolate. But for a limited time only, they uh, have got the cotton candy bad boy. I actually thought it was actually released a couple of weeks back. What do you think, Linda, so far? Good. Very, very good. She likes it. She likes. Um, for me, I'm not the biggest cotton candy fan, but I wanted to give this bad boy. It's about the size of my head. Uh, that's what you get for your money. So, yeah, cotton candy. Uh, let me do an addition. Ice cream. We're going to first taste test, bite the old top off. It's a good mix. Again, hurts the old teeth, but uh, yeah, that's um, that's a winner right there. Pretty dang good. Like I said, I'm not the biggest cotton candy fan in the world, but this takes some beating. We're gonna try and drive this sucker home. I'll tell you more about my feelings about this bad boy on the way home. And away we go. But yeah, obviously, usually with, with chocolate, um, they actually currently sell a few flavors. They've got butterscotch, cherry, chocolate, and now, of course, for this limited time only, um, cotton candy. Cotton candy, boys and girls. There's a one-off. For me, anyway, it's a one-off. On this uh, crazy time, yeah, I did see a post there back there. I did say uh, cone day postponed, free because usually you'd be able to get one of these for free. Uh, Luna is all about it. She's all about it. She'll get a little sample. Don't worry. I'll, I will not let her not get a sample of this bad boy. And you might even see that live. Come on, what do you think? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what she's talking about. It's light. I'm making a right pig's, pig's ear out of it on the old uh, on the old stash there, but uh, very light. Um, what are your comments, Linda? Good. Just good. Yeah. How how strong is the uh, cotton candy ness in it? It's good, but the, you know, the ice cream's vanilla. Is that you were hoping that the ice cream was going to be cotton that candy? So that is a good fact there. The inside is uh, is all vanilla. That's what they usually are though with the cones. Uh, it's vanilla on the inside. Oh, oh no, I tell a lie. I think they do sometimes do chocolate and vanilla. Is that right? You can. You can get it. Maybe I should have asked for that. But chocolate and, and cotton candy, that probably wouldn't work that well. But a straight up vanilla cone with cotton candy hard shell. It, yes. It's probably a good combo right there. Good old colour. Blue uh, for cotton candy. I don't know how long it's going to last as well. So if you are near a Derek Green and this is up your alley, make sure you check it out. Uh, you probably might not need the large. We shall see. I'm going to try and finish this sucker off quick time. So here we are, folks, back at the ranch. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, it's a pretty stinking good ice cream. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the outcome of this, even though I made a bright old mess of my face. Um, but the, the lasting taste of the cotton candy is pretty good. And uh, to be honest with you, 
I'd give this marks out of 10. It'd be a, a very, very good eight. And what do you think about that, Luna? What do you think about the old cotton candy Dairy Queen cone? Is it a winner, winner chicken dinner? Or is it a winner, winner Luna dinner? Oh yeah, she, she's giving it the Luna seal of approval. She's making right pig's ear of this as well. She's joined the family, making it all messy. Ain't I right, sweetheart? Yes. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you do, smash the subscribe. New videos every single day on the channel, whether it's me and Luna just hanging in, whether it's, uh, I don't know, talking football, talking smack, whatever it is, we've got it all here under one roof. Anyway, folks, until then, make sure you check out the description links to my other social media platforms are in the Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. If you want to become patrons of the channel, there is a link down in there. Anyway, i got to get out of here before I get slobbered on. Until then, we're out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>